Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. The devil. We have burnout. Some of you guys could be like getting out more and like traveling more, doing more stuff for whatever reason. But we have cleanup here. Yeah, didn't I say somebody was struggling with, we have burnout here. It's about local travel. Dreams. Hmm. You guys could have a dream about being in a car or going on some type of trip or a road trip or driving somewhere. Hmm. We have contracts. Oop. See, somebody got them. Oh. Somebody made a bad financial. Oh. <laughs> it's like I keep getting download after download. Somebody could be losing a car here. Or they could be like, have bought a, something to do with like, somebody could have bought a car that they couldn't afford or so there's some type of either a legal matter in regards to a car or there's somebody got themselves into some type of bad, like somebody has bad financial habits and they could have signed like a car loan or something like that. Try on burnout. Somebody's like probably having to work their ass off here to, to make ends meet. Some of you guys are going to be careful of you guys getting burnt out. Maybe you guys are going to have to work more to be able to have something that you want here. Is it about clean up? Teamwork. Hmm. Oh, some of you guys, somebody here might. Oh. I'm kind of getting this vibe, guys, that like somebody feels like their life would be easier if they were with another person because it's almost like somebody has gotten themselves into a situation where they've like kind of, how do I put that? They have, uh, what's the word? Why can't I think of what the word is? They have bitten off more than they can chew. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. They've bitten off more than they can chew. It, and for this local travel car card coming out, it could have something to do with a car. But it's almost like somebody feels like their life would be easier. Like, just say that it's money. Like, they don't feel like they can afford their bills without having another person. They feel like if they teamed up with another person, they would be able to afford, like, their car note. Or they'd be able to pay all their bills. Because they've gotten into something here. They, they have a car note. They have something going on. Where they maybe feel like they don't they don't actually make enough money by themselves to be able to pay those bills. Or like they can pay it themselves, but they feel like they have to overwork themselves to be able to make ends meet or to pay these bills. Hmm. So what does this have to do with my collective? Passion. Ooh, what is this? What about passion? Crystal ball? Oh new passion in life okay deep thinking oh oh no oh no <laughs> i don't like this energy it's almost like there, you have an opportunist that's looking at you i don't even know know if i want to go as far as saying that they're an opportunist yet but there is somebody that's like dang if i would have teamed up with the collective i would have been able to pay these bills <laughs> Or if me and the collective come together, we can split the bills or something like that. They're like thinking twice because what are they? Re somebody's rethinking something. Yeah. What about? Oh, somebody is jealous because they feel like you have it easy. It's like this. The same person that wants to team up with you because they need somebody to help them make ends meet is the same person who's jealous of the fact that they feel like. You're having some type, you're, you're very success, successful in career and business. Play more. Secrets. What is this? We have leadership. See? Some of you guys, like, stop talking to somebody. You stop talking to somebody. You Yeah, you cut off communication with them. You've been moving in silence. And you're doing this because you know your worth. Like, you, and you're being logical. You, you may still have feelings and emotions for a person, but your logic, your brain, your mind is telling you that you maybe needed to move in silence um, and maybe focus on your career and your work. Tell me more. Children. What about children? Serendipity. Divine intervention, perfect timing, happy surprises. What does that do with children? Ooh, somebody's having a baby. <laughs> guys i don't say that often with children we have birth and serendipity so 
you and this card talks about surprises or divinely orchestrated events so somebody's supposed to have a child here oh yeah yeah we have good health on the back of the deck what is going on what does that do with my collective karmic justice wrongs made right you will be vindicated getting what you deserve learning karmic lessons but what about this contracts and this evil eye oh yeah jealous people nearby you are protected cleanse and protect your energy care for who you trust talking about evil eye love okay and hot mess there's somebody here that you love guys but spirit is protecting you from this person because fear says that they're the devil energy they're toxic they maybe have an addiction they have a dependency they could they're literally dependent on somebody like because but they, somebody could have taken out a car loan for them like there's something here about a car okay but for others of you they're they're financially dependent Or, but not only that, they're toxic, chaotic, messy, miserable. Yeah, irresponsible. Tell me more about what this has to do with my collective. Trial and error. The world. So you guys maybe are open to exploring new possibilities. Yeah, you're setting boundaries with this person. But what does this have to do with contracts? Self-image. Improving your self-image, focusing on what you can change, super, superficial confidence, insecurity issues. Listen to your intuition, deception, hidden truth. Listen to my collective. Death. Death and Lysis. Magnetic. There may be ending some type of karmic, toxic karmic contract. Somebody feels drawn to you. So, like, that's what I was getting, guys. I said it, I said I don't 100 percent feel like this person is just an opportunist, but it's like they're looking at things differently now. It's like they're thinking that the two of the, it's like somebody's thinking about the two of you coming together and building something together. What was that card say? Teamwork. I don't know where it was right here. Yeah. Because this card says a partnership to complete a goal. Someone will come to your aid, expanding your network, delegating tasks. It's like this person feels like they can't do it by themselves. They feel like, do they have, is it just that or do they have love for, how do they feel about the collective? We're going to look at that more. How do they feel about the collective? So you do make them happy. Tell me about the celebration card. You're 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 a new experience for this person. I don't think you've they've ever felt the way that they feel about you. Yeah, time off. What about bridge? Soulmates. The hidden. What's hidden? Crossroads. Love. Positive changes. Hmm. This actually, guys, I was at first, it was looking bad. But now. It don't look that bad. <laughs> like there has been a lot of obstacles and challenges. And I feel like at some point, if this was blocked or it couldn't move forward, but, or this was even blocked for your highest good. I told you the divine's been protecting you from this person, but there's going to be an opportunity to rebuild something with this person, like to actually build something together. It's like someone's perspective is changing. I see they have a lot of passion for you. But it's like now someone's seeing like, wow, like if me and the collective come together, we can build something. We can, And they're also thinking about having a family with you. I do see somebody having a kid with whoever, whoever's reading this is. You may end up having a child with this person. For others of you, it could be just new beginnings energy. But I am seeing energy of a baby or a child starting a family with somebody. So that's what somebody's thinking about. Somebody's thinking that they want to have a family with you. <laughs> I'm thinking about that one TikTok. You know, you know, but... <laughs> <sighs> so why are they wanting this with the collective now what's making them see this see yeah they've gone through some type of change renewal powerful inner powerful inner transformation leaving old flames embracing the new so they're leaving somebody behind i told you they're closing out some type of karmic contract here toxic yeah tell me more why are they what's this new perspective coming from yeah the masculine the masculine is having this new perspective see what about chaos stepping stone what is chaos though they're going through some oh they're going through some hard shit guys they're they're probably going through karma yeah they've been going through it and through these less this this chaos and difficult experiences that they've been going through yeah heavy burdens test your strength they're going through it but um they're gonna come out of this yeah gradually building on success the start of something bigger yep 
rising from the ashes being offered a second chance the end of despair what was lost is being restored so i'm telling you poor health why is poor health here love offer why is poor health here though round and okay so you guys were trying to what about it's like this person tried to offer maybe you were offering this person your love in the past right but you were dealing with somebody that was, for some of you, mentally ill or they had an addiction. You were dealing with somebody that wasn't right in the head at the time, guys. And, like, they weren't taking things seriously. And I feel like there was a, there you had to make a choice to do what was for your highest good. Yeah, karmic cycle, reaching this, yeah, the past. Mm-hmm, up in the air. Hmm. There's been a lot going on behind the scenes. So let's get more clarity on how this, what this really has to do with you. I just see that somebody has come to the conclusion they want to be with you. They want to build a life with you. They feel like the two of you coming together, you can get a lot done, get more done together than apart. Um, it's like they feel like they want to, it's like they're ready because I feel like you were dealing with a very immature person. Now somebody's thinking very like, okay, I'm ready to settle down. Like I want to have family. I want to build a life with somebody. Like I want to get my life together. I want to clean up, so that, clean up my life so I can become a team with the collective. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about this person, but let's see. Let's get some tarot. How does the collective feel about this person, Spirit? How does the collective feel about this person? How does the collective feel about this person? The eight is, oh, some of you guys feel like you're releasing them. You guys feel like you freed yourself from something. Or you feel like you look, you're, you have a different perspective. You see things differently when it comes to them now. Tell me more. The five of wands, are re not reverse, five of wands. You're conflicted when it comes to them. Tell me more. Tennis, you're trying to heal from them, but you kind of don't. <sighs> Why is there five of wands energy here? Strength in reverse. Yeah, I don't think you guys have fully made up your mind about this person. But you do have a lot of feelings of like, I don't know. I don't know about them. Temperance. You're, you're trying to heal from them. See, ooh, what about that? The much Guys, I cannot make this up. You and this person, there's something to do with money here. The two of you coming together... You guys are going to have all the money that you can need and more or something like that. But th this reconciliation is going to lead to wealth. Financial security for both of you. And, and this is what's manifesting here. Whatever, if there was something that you were dreaming of manifesting, but you couldn't do it because you just didn't have the extra money or you didn't, you know what I mean? Or something that is something like, tell me more. The three of swords reverse. The six, it's like, this is only going to happen if you can kind of like, I know this is hard. This is easier said than done, but there is, this person did hurt you. And the only way that this 10 of pentacles, this temperance, 10 of pentacles, and this magician is going to come together is if you're able to move on from whatever they did to you. And now that's a personal choice. All right. But there's something here. We have Leo energy. What else do we have? We have Aquarius energy. We have Sag energy. We have Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy. Tell me more. The tower reverse, I'm telling you, I see energy of, there was a tower moment, but there will also be a, an opportunity to rebuild something. And then like, yeah, it's like now they're ready for this. When you were dealing with them before, they weren't ready. This situation always had the potential to be the Ten of Pentacles, but you were trying to build the Ten of Pentacles with somebody that wasn't ready for the Ten of Pentacles. They weren't ready to settle down. They weren't ready for big boy, big girl things. Yeah, but now they are for some reason. Yeah, right. why though? What did they go through? They're releasing some type of fear of commitment or of growing up. Yeah, they're releasing something too. Oh my gosh, there's so many geese outside right now. I'm sure you guys can hear that. <laughs> Yeah, for some of you, they're getting a divorce. Oh, no, they, I'm telling you. For some of you, they are getting a divorce, but this is what this person wants with you. Taurus energy with the hair font, the hair font and the ace of cups. Tell me more about how, and the hermit on the back of the deck. They've gone through, yeah, they were been going through, they've been doing a lot of introspection on their dishonesty and how they were unfair to you. Yeah, for some of you, they are going through legal issues or something like that. So again, how does my collective feel about this person, though? Do you feel like 
it's just a missed opportunity. Oh, for some of you, some of you guys know that this person has financial issues. Like maybe you feel like they don't have enough to offer. I think you saw the potential in this connection, but you just maybe feel like it'll never get there. Um, mm, there's something. Maybe you feel like this person is an opportunist, right? The queen is. Yeah, you guys are very guarded towards this person. You think this person is trying to use you? What are their intentions? Flame right there. No, they're serious, guys. I'm telling you, the Knight of Pentacles. Yep, committed practical grounded they want to take things slow they want to build something they want to put the work in yeah pragmatic four of cups it's just like it's been taking this part person longer than you to get to this point like you guys might have been ready when you first met this person when you met this person they were not ready what is the Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles? The moon. Their fear is that they've missed out on an opportunity with you because it took them so long to get to this point. Yeah, it took them so long to get to this point where they were ready for this, to offer you their pinnacle. Why did it take so long? Guys, the geese. Why did it take so long? They didn't want to, okay. They could have been focused on other things. They were maybe focused on trying to heal from another situation. Yeah, they were still in the process of healing from something else or moving on from another situation. Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, they were going through like a disconnection in another situation. I feel like they were keeping this a secret from you. Yeah, something wasn't over. Wow. Yeah, something, they were maybe trying to end it, but there was a lot of blocks and delays to an ending death. Yeah. Yep. They a cycle was not closed out when they started a cycle with you. That's why. <laughs> you can't really build a sta stable foundation with somebody um if you have another foundation or another situation that's they had a loose end. That's all I can say, guys. They had a loose end. Let's see. So but I see that this union between you and this person is going to turn into something like, like wealth, wealth, financial security, family, generational wealth. Like it's something that you and this person will do together that is going to be lead to a lot of stability and a lot of money. It could even be something as simple as just like, you know, two incomes is always better than one. I mean, if you, if you only have one, that's cool too. But put combining incomes is never like negative. Like if you have somebody that's paying half the bills or however you want to do that. Or you got, yeah, that's never a bad thing. Three more. We have energy cords. So, yeah, despite the distance between you, they still feel the, this person's dreaming about you, too. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected. We have discovery they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down left them feeling powerless and trapped what was that breaking free i don't know they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you what was discovered spirit plotting and release oh so if they walked away from you in or if you walked away from them it says they when they set you free they felt the sting from your absence don't let their silence fool you for so some of you they chose they they consciously chose to release you or you walked away from them and as soon as they felt your absence like they realized something and they've been trying to get figure out how to get you back ever since with this plotting energy they're stuffing up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options for some of you they're finding out that you do have other options we have permanent mark oh and also that they couldn't forget you you left a permanent mark on their heart that can't be erased even if they tried you will always be remembered we have exhausted. And yeah, they're over there going through it. It's something about like they feel overworked in a situation. Maybe they feel like they have to do everything by themselves. That they feel like they can't do it by themselves or something like that. Like they or they can, but it's just leaving them. They, they don't they can't even take care of themselves where they're at. Like they have some if they are in a relationship with another person, that person doesn't work or that person's lazy or they have to do they have to take care of everything by themselves. Like they have like they take the brunt of the burden or the responsibility in that situation and they feel very exhausted over there and they kind of feel like if they would have chosen to not walk away from you if they would have picked you 
that they, they wouldn't even be going through this. But this is how people learn, guys. They made a dumb decision. They chose somebody over you or they thought they could do it by themselves. They thought they didn't need you, right? And now they're over there struggling. I just heard drowning. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Yeah, there was stuff that they were still holding on to that needed to be released before the two of you could have this Ten of Pentacles together. Yeah, at la exactly. It says they don't, at last, they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. So they feel like there is something between the two of you that they don't want to let go of, but they feel like there's something significant between the two of, we, two of you. We have broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. Yeah, I slipped away in endings. So they feel like you're maybe the one that got away. What is endings, though? The gods favor you. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. Now is the time your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. Hmm. What does that have to do with endings? The mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. Divine truth. Huh. You're helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. But was the ending with you and this person missing you? I do feel like there was an ending between you and this person, but they've been missing you. And it's actually been giving them clarity about you. This ending was actually... How do I put that? This ending was actually a blessing in disguise. <laughs> and that's probably what I'm going to name this reading. Yep, this ending was a bl blessing in disguise because without this ending, this person was never going to see this divine truth. And they weren't going to ever, it says their life feels, if they needed to feel your absence, their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. So this ending is actually leading to things shifting in your favor. And somebody coming towards you very authentically. Yeah, but we have Sarah. I don't like that energy. What are serendipity and boundaries? I feel like this is you guys. The serendipity and boundaries. You're kind of like, if this is my person, you know, they'll always be my person. They'll find their way back to me. I don't see you guys taking any action towards them. I feel like if anything is going to happen, they're going to have to come towards you. Because you're in this energy of leaving it up to the divine. And that's what they wanted you to do. All right. They loved it. And it's like making this person actually want, and they wanted you to do that because it was going to make this person see the truth. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. Yeah, this is leading to a breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication, communication real soon. Yeah, they wish that they would have met you at a different time because maybe when you met this person, they were in the midst of a player era or they, yeah, they had a lot of top guys, temptation, toxicity, player, mixed signals. Like they were not in the right place. Like what you wanted with them, like there, there was connection there between you and this person, but they were not who you needed them to be at the time. There needed to be some like growth, lessons, separation. It's, it's made this person see things differently. They, I'm telling you, didn't I say this person's ready to settle down? It says the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. The player wants to settle down since they met you. You have triggered this person to want to settle down. To settle down.